here with me I have Amy Hamilton and we're at Fluidime headquarters and Amy uh, first of all tell us what you do for the company. I actually am part of the company's technical support group so I help to train customers when they purchase an instrument and teach them how to use the equipment and uh, how to run chips. Well you're going to do a little bit of a workflow demonstration I understand so I'm going to let you take it from here and go ahead and get started. Great, so this is what we have in front of us here is one of our uh, high density 96.96 .96 dynamic arrays. So I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, load your samples and assays into the chip. And basically it's as simple as taking an 8 channel uh, multi-pipe header and we're going to load um, our assays on the left hand side of the chip in each one of the corresponding inlets and there are 12 columns of inlets. And then on the sample side we will do the same thing, we will load our samples into the inlets on the sample side and there are 12 pipetting steps for this chip in total. So it's very straightforward and simple and it takes approximately 10 minutes to complete. So once I've finished loading the samples and assays into the chip, I'm going to place it on the ISC controller which is the instrument that actually pushes all of the materials inside the nanofluidic chip. I'm going to place the chip on the tray I'm going to load the chip. I'm going to choose the load mix uh, script. Uh, and then I'm going to place uh, press run script. And that's all you need to do. Everything else is automated. So once the chip run is finished, you eject the chip. So I'm going to take it over to what we call our standalone thermocycler. And I'll just place the chip on the thermocycler, close the lid, um, turn on the vacuum, and the thermocycler will turn on. And I will just start the thermocycling protocol. And I know this is not the last step in the process either. <laughs> this is not the last step. So <clears throat> once the chip is finished thermocycling, I'll just turn off the vacuum, open the lid, take the chip off, and then I will take it over to the EP1 reader, which is where we will read the fluorescence data that was generated in the thermocycling process. So in order to start a run on the EP1, I will just click start a new run. The tray will open. I will place the chip on the tray <coughs> and choose the load button. Um, the barcode of the chip will be read by the instrument and I will proceed um, through this wizard which uh, helps me to set up the chip run. I'm going to choose the fluorescent probes that are used in this experiment and then I will start the run. And this run time is approximately three to five minutes. And that's all there is to it. Well, thank you very much. That's Amy Hamilton with Fluidon giving us a, a demonstration of the workflow using the Fluidon system here at Fluidon headquarters. I'm Chuck Zimmerman reporting.